Well, guys, I have some massive, massive news regarding caves and cliffs that I did not expect to happen. They have decided to split caves and cliffs into two parts due to the pandemic that is going on in the world. They do not want to cause stress to their team to get 1.17 out. So what they have done is they have decided to give us the update in two parts. And it brings a lot of changes. And, by the way, I had no other choice to refresh Aquatic Land again because of this update. And when I went to go play 21W14A, they had already put 21W15A into the launcher. And now I can't find 21W14A. So, yeah, I had to completely refresh the world that we had started Chapter 2 on. Now, there are some things that I have to go over in this video. I mean, this is exciting, but at the same time, it's... It's saddening because, uh, well, they reverted some of the features that we already had. And the only way we will be able to play with them is via a data pack that they have put together. And well, I will link everything you need to know in the description. They said they want to make this update the best update ever because it is the cave update and so they said quality matters and it is so big with tech technically technically advanced speaking it's uh, so technical that they want to you know, make sure that it's right. Technically. Technical. Like, how in the code and stuff. They want to make sure they get it right. And number one, and number three, they do not want to stress people out over with overtime at work. So they're splitting it up into two parts. The first part will be the blocks and, and mobs. So we will get, so now with this world that we're currently in, it's been reverted back to um, 1.16 style of generation. But I'm going to put a data pack. I'm going to put the data pack in there and see what happens. And see how it works. And, uh, so this is not going to be the world that I use. And I'm thinking if I use the data pack that we might be able to continue to do the, to do, uh, still do Chapter 2, Aquatic Land Chapter 2. Otherwise, we're stuck in a pretty hard place. Because they reverted about half of the features that we that we had. Like you still have access to the blocks. Like there's still access to copper and and as far as like amethysts, you can find that and you can find copper. But you remember like the first 1.17 snapshot that they had? Well, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically where we're back at. I mean, I can't blame them. I'm not 
criticizing them. I don't want to feel like I'm criticizing not that any of them watch this. But, uh, I just, uh, now we know, basically, how, uh, the Warden is going to be implemented into, it's going to be in part two, which will come out the final release of Caves and Cliffs will be part two. And like I said, it's due to the, to the, let's just say it, pandemic that that this has happened. And, uh, yeah, I'm not really um, opposed to saying pandemic here on YouTube, but okay. You can get, like, the goat and stuff and everything. And it says in the changelog that they'll ram you now. So I was writing Prediction Tuesday. I did not expect them to split it up. Like, that was, like, really in the back of my mind. So, yeah. Caves and Cliffs will be in two parts. So let's just imagine that we get the all the items in here. Right here. Right here. Right here, deep slate, the deep slate ores, the deep slate blocks, these new blocks of raw iron and stuff like that. We're going to get all of those at some point here in the summer. Scope sensor. Spyglass bundle. Things like that. We're getting glow berries. We're getting in the goats and the glow squid. Those still, I guess they're still spawning. I, I don't know. Like I said, I want to do a whole video on if the data pack works. So... That will be coming out in the next couple of days. I'll be making my decision on uh, if uh, we can continue Aquatic Land. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I'm not disappointed by any means. I don't want to come out like, oh, we know what he thinks. He's, uh, he's mean. I'm just, uh, I figured... It would have to come to this because they don't want to stress people out. I don't blame them. Health is important during this time. You can see the axolotls are still spawning. I mean, we do still have some deep slate around here. So, uh, yeah, I don't know when they're gonna, you know, release this first part. Like, now that they've created a data pack for it, you know. I mean, they're almost done with, with I'm, I'm guessing, with this first part. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. Mojang, if you're watching this, you're doing a top good job. I applaud you for taking care of your people's health. Don't get me wrong. If any of you are watching that, of this. All health is important. Normally I don't talk about things like the what's going on in the world right now on this channel, but it's uh, it's important. So uh, yeah, 
don't get me wrong, anybody that's watching this, I, I take the health of myself, my family, very seriously. And I, don't, I want everybody to be safe. Do what you gotta do. Be safe. Okay, so goats are still spawning. That's good. I mean, will they ram me now? I don't know. Like I said, this is not going to be... This is not going to be the world that I use. So, yeah. I just wanted to come out and say, Caves and Cliffs will be two parts. They're taking their time because of quality, technical advances. If you want to say that, technically, technical advances. And, uh, just the well-being of their workers is, uh, during the pandemic. So, that's what I gotta say for this video. I'll be thinking about what we're gonna do. Testing out some new world seeds for the for the data pack and I will see you guys next time remember stay safe take take everything seriously uh, take your health seriously I guess this is a more of a serious video but uh yeah hopefully YouTube doesn't make me get in trouble but uh bye